We're going to talk about the Jews of Spain and Portugal again. Alright? Because there's people that still don't listen. Many Jews fled to those parts of Northwest Africa known as Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, and Mauritania. Many of the Jews fled to the areas where Rome did not have any jurisdiction. So this was after 70, during 70 AD. This was a region of the South, the Sahara, Desert, and the Sudan. Grazel says, such is explanation of how the de of how the Sahara Desert first acquired Jewish tribes, toughened by a fighting tradition and possessed the physical characteristics, which it is said still make them approximate very closely the original Jewish population of Palestine. The Jews are omniscient, omnipresent people. They seem to exist everywhere. At the beginning of the 6th century, they are found in Spain, before the Mohammedan Conquests. Spain is known to the Jews as a classical land of crypto Judaism because they feigned Christianity but practiced Jewish ritual in secret as early as the Roman period. The Jews of Spain had been large in number and influential. Many of them claimed to be descendants of the noble Jews in Jerusalem who had been carried into exile by General Tartish. And remember, many of these Jews in Spain and Portugal, after the Inquisition, they left and they migrated into Africa. And you know, by this time, the Sahara Desert was heavily occupied with black Jews. Mm -hmm. And this is what I've been telling you guys for a long, long time now. Even the ancient empire of Ghana was founded by black Jews of the Kingdom of Judah. I need you guys to get this book, From Babylon to Timbuktu, by Rudolf Windsor. Please get it. To remember at the same time, most of these black Jews are in Spain and Portugal. Most of them are in Spain and Portugal, but most of them branch out into other areas of Europe. They are supposed to be of Moorish blood. Their progenitors have come from Africa by way of Spain into various countries of Western Europe. Most people don't realize that most of the black Jews that were in Europe were of certain African tribes, such as the Igbo, the Mende, the Bakongo, the Bantus. Certain African ethnic groups were in Europe, and you can see their language, and I would compare that in another lesson. Even the ones that were in Spain and Portugal, they branched out to other parts of Europe, Britain, Scotland, Ireland. The black European nobility were Israelites. The Venetians and Gro Genoese whatever you call it, please bear with me. Great slave traders brought Negroes in numbers to Italy where they were used as soldiers because they know us black people can fight, no doubt. Slaves, wrestlers, divers, swimming masters, musicians, you know, jailers, prisoners, hatchmen, executioners, pages and pets, for noble ladies. In Sicily, most of the slaves brought in were unmixed Negroes, accounting in part for the present dark color of its population. Most people don't realize, like most of these, most of us Caribbean people, or if you're just black in general, Caribbean or black American, because that's where most of our Scottish Irish ancestry come from. If you really do research, how do you know your Scottish or Irish ancestry is actually black than it is white? They took more black Irish, black Scottish slaves out of those countries than it was white Irish, white Scottish slaves. Hear this. White slaves were sold along with the black ones in 1649. Hmm. In 1649. These are pictures of our people in Holland, which is Europe. See how black he is? He's pitch black. Him? Pitch black. He looks like Andre 3000. And this guy? All these people are black. Germany and Belgium. Black. Black. What you all need to remember is that white people were very, very, very small of a race of people back then. And even still today now, because if you have to number all white people in Europe and where they are living in the world, they're less in number compared to black people. Us black people, we're big in number. 
See, that's how you know black European nobility were taken as slaves back and forth. Negro slavery was introduced in England about that time and lasted until 1773 and probably even to 1834 when there was a general emancipation in the British Empire. Hmm. This is a black man in England. This man is black. Clearly, he's pitch black. So know what you're talking about when you, when, when you say black people were never in Europe. Black people were in Europe. We civilized Europe during the Dark Ages. It was Israelites. And you had other nations like the Ishmaelites, the Egyptians, etc. Well, most of them are Israel. But remember, you do have black Edomites that were in Europe as well. So you have to remember that. Our people need to come back into this truth. Because if you deny your religion or you deny your practices that your forefathers did, you will eventually deny your nationality. Sociologists, psychologists know, and history has proven that. If you deny your culture and nationality over a long period of time, you will totally forget it through a process of assimilation. And the black Jews of Africa did not only migrate there by land, but also by sea. As you recall, in the year 1484, King John of Portugal deported great numbers of black Jews to the African island of Santomi. You can type that on Google. That place actually exists. Santomi is near Nigeria and Cameroon, which that whole land previously was called Bida Biafra. Biafra means Bida of Ephraim. So Bida Biafra is land of Ephraim. That's where the northern tribes are. And I'll break that down in the next lesson. As you recall, in the year 1484, the King of King John of Portugal deported great numbers of black Jews to the African island of San Tome. At, the, at that time, as time elapsed, the black Jews in Portugal and the black Jews in, in the Portuguese colonial possessions became known as black Portuguese. If you look at it, the areas that were colonized by Portuguese in Africa was Guinea-Bissau, Angola, Mozambique. And that was pretty much it, but yet other pl people that... From, from Spain and Portugal, from the Spanish and Portuguese Inquisition that were taken to Cameroon, Nigeria, and Gabon. And this is how I'm going to end it off. They became known as Black Portuguese. They were called Black Portuguese because they were born in Portugal and they knew the history, culture, and language of Portugal. The new inhabitants... Oh, and let me bring this down for you. Let me read all of that. I didn't highlight this part, but I'm going to read all of it for you. As it has been mentioned before, King John of Portugal furnished ships in order to de deport the Jews of any country they desired. However, unscrupulous Portuguese captains exact, exact, executive, exacted as much money as they could from the Jews and dumped their human cargo at various places along the West African coast. As a result, Alan Godby writes that Winwood Reed met blacks in Guinea, West Africa, which Guinea is, if you look on the map, Guinea is like Ghana, Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Ivory Coast, Siberia, Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau, and Upper West Africa. That's what he means by Guinea. He met the blacks in Guinea, West Africa, who called themselves Portuguese and claimed descent from Portugal. In another case, Daniel P. Mannix write us that Captain Cutler, a slave trader from Boston, was barbarously murdered. Hmm? Good for him with two of his sailors by a community of black Portuguese established near the mount of the Sierra Leone River. Now I'm going to get to this to another video about Sierra Leone. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to trade on the West African coast and to establish colonies on a larger scale. The Canary Islands were discovered by the Portuguese in 1341. Hmm. Hmm. Telling you something. 
ceded to Spain by Papal Bull in 1344. Senegal, Senegal was discovered by the Portuguese in the 15th century. Hmm. Go and break down Senegal in another video. And the first settlements are believed to have been black Portuguese. So now let me say it again. Senegal was discovered by the Portuguese in the 15th century. And the first settlements are believed to have been black Portuguese. Hmm. Judah Benjamin is in that land. The Gambia River Mount was discovered by the Portuguese in the 15th century. Sierra Leone first visited by the Portuguese in 1462. Guinea discovered by Portuguese in 1446. The island of San Tome discovered by Portuguese in 1471. The new inhabitants were black Jews deported here in 1484. Black Jews migrated to Angola coast from San Tome between 1484 to 1499. Hmm. Hmm. That tells you something. That tells you something right there. These black Jews went to Portuguese colonial possessions in Western Africa. Remember that the Portuguese colonies in Western Africa were Guinea, San Tome Island. Guinea was pretty much the whole of West Africa. San Tome Island, Senegal, Angola, and a few islands near the African coast. During the persecutions in Portugal, thousands of Jews, blacks, black Jews, left the country. The Jews, the black Jews, were leaving the country in such large numbers that in 1499 to 1531, the kings published a decree forbidding the new Christians, black Jews, from leaving Portugal without special permits. Hey! Hmm. So at this time, many Jews became Christians out of fear. Many of them were known as secret Jews, practicing Judaism in secret under the disguise of Christianity. Some writers call these Jews nominal Christians, Jews who are Christians in name only, but practice Judaism in secret. In spite of all the prejudices against the black Jews of Portugal, they, ex they excelled in all the trades, skills, professions, and businesses. The wealth of the Jews was tremendous. <laughs> we were really, really rich people. We were. The wealth of the Jews was tremendous. Portugal is a small country about the size of the state of Florida. Nevertheless, in the year 1610, the Jews alone were worth 80, huh? 80 million ducats. The Jews dominated commerce and the export trade. So naturally, the black Jew would engage in commerce and trade in many parts of Africa after they had fled from Portugal. Hmm. And you all have to remember as well, many of the black Jews were criminals. We were, because we ain't going to take any of the bullshit back in Spain and Portugal. No joke. See, and the people of Angola, the Bantus in Angola, it is said they came from San Tome Island. All available evidence indicates that the Jews of Angola coast were Portuguese Jewish outcasts from the tribe of Judah and Benjamin, and possibly other northern tribes as well. Many black Jews were established inland and along the coast of Angola, the Congo, which is democratic, and the other one, and Gabon. And Cameroon, which they always forget. And it is certain that many of the black Jews of Portugal, San Tome, and Angola, who became victims of the Inquisition and Portuguese persecution, were sold in the slave trade. This Atlantic slave trade lasted more than 400 years, from 1444 to about 1880 in some parts of South America, which is totally, which is very, 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 very true. Oh, I should have highlighted this. Some scholars have located black Jews within the entire Niger River Bend. The countries in this territory that have contained black African Jewish Black African Jews include the following Upper Volta, which is Burkina Faso, and it can include also Upper West Africa, which is Senegal, Gambia, Guinea Bissau. These are where most of the Southern Kingdom tribes are Ivory Coast, Ghana, Togo, Dahomey, which is now modern day nation Benin, and Nigeria. Joseph du 
please bear with me, Joseph du Puis, concerning the Jews in 1824, says, The lands occupied by these people cover a wide extent between Messina and Kabai. Messina is located in southern Mali, inside the Niger River Bend, and Kabai is found in the southern part of the Ivory Coast. Boom. We are the real Jews, and there's no need for me to lie about this. We are the real Israelites, according to the Bible. See, even a person that was discovering Benin even said in 1926, there was a large, large Hebrew community of black Jews in the interior of Dahomey, West Africa, Benin. And if you're really doing research, we're all, all of us are pretty much related. All of us are under the branch Niger-Congo, which means Hebrew-Israelite. Niger is even mentioned in the Bible. Congo is mentioned in the Bible, but they took that out. We are the real Jews. We are the real Israelites, according to the Bible. There are even black Jews in southern Nigeria who call, who call themselves Emyokwem, strange people, but they call themselves the tribe of Ephraim. I have one more thing to show, and I'm done. Research in DNA means also that the Jews that were exiled, and this is real historic proof. A white man is even telling you this in this book. Here, hear me out. The Jews that were exiled from Spain and Portugal during the 16th century were black Jews. You see that? No need for me to lie to you. It was these same black Jews living. It was these, the same people. It's the same black Jews. It's the same people that are living in modern day Angola, Gabon, Congo, Equatorial Guinea, and Bahia, Brazil. Boom.